Guys, you maniac gamers, I'm gonna go tour you through my gaming setup, which is roughly about $1,500 worth. Maybe a little bit more if you include the table. So the table was like 400 bucks or three. So I have my Twitch streamer mic right here. It's pretty cool. You can like change the sound settings on it. Um, it's all right. It's a lot better than what I had before. If you watch some of my old videos from maybe two years ago or mid last year, you'll see that they're different. The sound quality's gotten a lot better. These are my speakers, these insignia speakers, worth like 200 bucks. Um, they're really awesome. They have high and lows. Uh, my monitor, it's like an Asus, just a 1080. It's not a 4K. My Xbox One controller, just got that. Pretty stoked about it. Be on the lookout for a review. It's great, by the way. Keyboard, this is a wireless keyboard I have, and a mouse. I rarely ever play keyboard and mouse. I almost always play with controller, except sometimes for Counter-Strike I like to use the keyboard and mouse for some reason. Dude, I checked out this table, how sick it is. So it has an adjustable height. You push a button and look at this. It's high. I like to have it at like around 40 inches or 36. So now watch. Okay, now that it's good, so I don't actually hit a button, I push this lock, and now it won't move. Cool, right? And now if I unlock it, it'll move again, see? So let's lock that. All right, also have like USB ports on the side to charge your phones. I keep my stuff in here, headsets, my quick guide to the Turtle Beach thing, because that's just awesome. All right, cool, cool. This table is all glass and metal. It's pretty sick. Um, now what you guys are really here for, the PC. Now this PC is pretty nice. Here it is. I got MSI gaming motherboard. I have a 1060, just a regular 1060. It's not the super overclocked or the, it's not the 6G, it's just the 3 gig card. And here I have an AMD FX8350 processor with 8 gigs of RAM. So this is top here is 500 gig and I have a 2 terabyte RAID actually in here of uh, SSDs. So that's pretty sick. And I have a DVD ROM which a lot of people don't have so that's cool. Now let's look at the back. Here we go. Just some ports, HDMI ports. It looks pretty sick with the lights. I personally like that more blue on it. So it's just me, but it has a lot of blue in the front look. Look how cool this looks. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's take off the side and take a look inside. What's nice about this case is it has uh, these screws on the side so you can just screw it off. It doesn't require, that's like the whole case's design, is it doesn't require any um, any screwdrivers. You just pop that off. Cool, and then you push, you pull on it on the side, push like that. Here we go. These are my SSDs, graphics card, power supply, LED gaming, fans, you know, and then there's the processor. Pretty sick. It actually doesn't get too hot which I'm kind of happy for. It's an AMD product. They do like their processors. I used to have a R9 270X and I just really hated that card. So this card runs super great. I can actually run a few games at 4K on it. It's pretty amazing. This PC uh, probably costs around like, it was like 1200 easy. Especially when we bought the SSDs, they were like a lot more expensive. They were like 500 bucks per terabyte or something like that. So, just the SSDs alone cost us like a thousand. <laughs> and then the graphics and all those upgrades and everything. So price breakdown of this real quick to prove that this is a $2,000 setup. This is a $75 mic. These are $200 speakers. Um, this is a $70 keyboard. This is like a $100 HD, like 27 inch monitor. This table is like 350. Um, HDMI cables. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> I have. Um, we paid 20 for the HDMI's. No, we didn't. Um, this is like uh, 500 gig SSD. So this is like 200 bucks. Um, the SSD's inside has a two terabyte RAID, which is which was like a thousand bucks at the time, or like maybe it's like actually no, more like nine or eight hundred dollars, something like that. That's a 1060 card, like I mentioned. That's a 200 dollar card. That motherboard and chipset combo is like 250 or 300, and yeah, that power supply is like 
50 bucks and the lights are like a few dollars here and there and then the case is another 50 bucks so with that combined you get almost forgot this controller was like a 70 dollar model and then my crappy xbox one headset yeah that's right it has duct tape on the side holding it together nonetheless it's like a 50 dollar headset or something and it has really good sound quality the plastic is very cheap on it so it comes apart like that it's somewhere around two thousand dollars so yeah so thank you for watching this video i hope you found this interesting i hope you like my gaming setup my gameplay and i'd love to have some more you know battlefront content and all kinds of cool stuff and maybe a little fortnite too i almost forgot the most essential part of my gaming setup right next to my pc i have this water bottle case it's a 24 pack and i keep it here so i don't have to leave my room when i'm gaming for water because i get thirsty from yelling at all those people like woohoo like that takes out a lot of you so then i can have my bottle right up there take it from there if i need another one and the bottle actually serves two purposes because i don't have to use the restroom i don't have to leave to use the restroom either while i'm gaming you know what i mean um yeah so this is a 24 pack right there um i wanted to get a 48 pack but my parents won't let me keep a bigger bottle case in my room oh if you want to include this in my gaming setup or not but this cost me about like five bucks a week just to keep that maintained, you know, a new pack every week. Uh, yeah. And then what I do is I just let them pile up. That looks real nice under there. Yeah, my, my bro species right there. He keeps, I just let them rest on the side of his cover. Um, he uses his computer for Reddit, so he don't care. He has like an R9 260 graphics card paired with an i9 processor because he uses Reddit. And he likes to open a lot of tabs. He likes to open a lot of tabs on Reddit. Are you making fun of me and my being PC? I'll have you know Reddit is very demanded. When I got a hundred tabs open, sometimes the tabs manager pops up on its own. I mean, if the hit control of me. And then sometimes it freezes too. And then sometimes I gotta restart my. He PC. also likes T series.